How's it going, welders and gun enthusiasts? Uh, this video is going to be about uh, both welding and guns for once. Now, if uh, you guys already couldn't tell, I am a firearms enthusiast. That is my rifle that I built myself. And um, recently, I've been thinking about building an AK-47. Now, um, when it comes to building firearms, unfortunately, gun nuts think they know everything. But um, to uh, counter all the gun nuts out there, I always try to remember Mr. Gaston Glock, the guy who invented the Glock. Now, um, Gaston Glock started off as a curtain rod manufacturer. He knew absolutely nothing about firearms, but lo and behold, he ends up making one of the most reliable firearms on planet Earth that's pretty much on the hip of everyone in law enforcement to military all over the world. So you don't need to be a gun nut to make an uh, a firearm. Now, all that being said, uh, I was wondering if uh, a majority or many of the components on an AK-47 could be welded rather than riveted. The reason I was more interested in welding is just because it's easier and faster for me to do so because I'm a proficient welder and I happen to have all the equipment. So uh, this video is in response to uh, Brandon uh, Herrera, who's uh, one of the authorities on the AK-47 on the internet, and uh, I had asked on his channel if it was possible for this to be welded, and he said no, or at least not very well. Well, this video is in response to his statement, and um, with all due respect, I think he's incorrect, and we're going to get into it. Hey again, YouTubers. All right, we're back here so I can uh, kind of prove my point a little bit more visually and with some evidence to back it up. Now, I believe that the, uh, now sorry if I'm wrong about these parts, but I'm uh, new to this, but the, uh, the front trunnion, which is uh, this component right here, and the rear trunnion, those 100% I believe can be welded on. And uh, the reason for that is, I mean, when you look at this 3D model, uh, the rear trunnion, yeah, you could definitely weld that. Now, uh, is it easy? For skilled welder, yes. The uh, the material thickness of the uh, receiver is a uh, forty thousandth, so I can weld that then. I don't know about everyone else. Now, um, where I would weld this uh, would probably be right in there and right there, and maybe uh, something uh, maybe like a fusion weld back here, and that would be it. And the time it would take to do that would be about. 30 seconds, maybe you know, a minute, a lot faster than rivets. And uh, welding works there because it doesn't impede function whatsoever. Those welds won't get in the way of anything. And the second component that I was thinking about welding was uh, the trunnion. Uh, where I would weld it, I would want to see more of the parts, but you can definitely uh, fuse it there and then uh, build the material up. Oops. There we are. Fuse it right here and then that might leap a little bit of a divot and then you can uh, just add filler and then grind it down or uh, definitely right in here fuse weld this portion up and down and i say fuse weld it because that'll keep it from getting in the way of whatever this part is right here so yeah, 100% the front and rear trunnions can be welded in. And if you don't want to weld on the interior, I would just say uh, place the rivet in and then just weld around the rivet and it's in there. And if you need to take it off, just grind down the rivet and pull it out. It's actually a lot easier than drilling it out, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that is... Um, the first way I think that this can be welded. And another reason I think I'm correct is because uh, Brandon Herrera said that they weren't designed to be welded, which may or may not be true. But um, if you look at the uh, another manufacturer, uh, Firing Line Oklahoma, the uh, Hungarian stamped receiver, this is how the AK-47 was originally designed. And look at this receiver right here. The trunnions are milled in, almost as if they were welded in. So, um, yeah, welder was correct, Brandon Herrera not correct. And that's why you shouldn't honestly always listen to gun builders, because gun builders might build, what, 15, 16, 20, 100 firearms in their life. Welders, you know, we could make 100 items in a single day. So, 
I'm definitely gonna buy some flats and put my money where my mouth is and actually create this, but uh, I don't have any at the moment. I gotta order them. So uh, stay tuned. This is gonna happen. Peace.